Hi, my name is John Barfield, and welcome back to Songwriting 101 with John Barfield. Had to do it, had to do it at least once. As you can tell today, we're looking at the acoustic guitar. I've been playing guitar myself for maybe about five or six years, and it's my main instrument of choice. I always go to the guitar first when I'm writing a song, and I think it is a very beautiful instrument. And so today, we're gonna kind of look at how to do softer sounds on your guitar, softer songs, um, because it's a very easy entry-level thing to learn. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you ought to learn is how to do proper chords on an open tuning. This is tuned to E standard. So that makes it really easy to play chords like a C, F, G, D, stuff like that. Now, once you learn basic chords like that, you can then elaborate on them and play them in different ways uh, that are more kind of different than what you may usually, you may usually play. So let's say we take a C. Uh, the C chord is, I mean, it's just a very basic chord. I mean, it's one of the first chords you learn. So if we take that and we drop out the, the pointer finger here, make it like this, and we get a C major seven, which is a very beautiful chord that's used in a lot of like Midwest emo songs and love ballads and stuff. So yeah, I mean that, that already, I mean, that, that that's already like a lot more flavor that we definitely want in our music. Another way you can play that exact chord is if you take your pointer finger, put it right here on the third fret of the A string, take your ring finger, put it on the fifth fret of the D string, and then take your middle finger and put it on the fourth fret of the G string. That's a little triad, major seven triad there for you. And if you wanna make that even more, you can bar these last two uh, on like the third fret on the B and E, the high B and E string, uh, and you can just kind of strum that. I mean, oof, I love playing that chord. I use that in a lot of my songs, and it's it's just, it's just a really good one that you definitely want to know if you're going to be writing more pretty, more accessible kind of stuff. So let's take that chord, and how do we elaborate upon that? Well, let's find other chords in the key and figure out what are different variations of those chords that would make that chord progression sound more interesting. One of the first ones that comes to my mind is an A minor seven. So if we take the, you know, the C, Seven, go down an A minor seven. And just to be clear, that is an A minor chord open basically right there. All you gotta do is just lift up that ring finger and then it's it's just two fingers to play that chord. It's a very easy chord to play and it's and it's just already so much more resonant. It's a beautiful chord, I love it so much. Another thing you want to look out for when you are playing guitar is there are different techniques, obviously, to play guitar other than just picking. Use those techniques. Learn how to finger pick. It really does help because it allows you to write songs differently and it allows you to kind of add different dynamics to your music. So, I mean, this. I mean, it sounds good, right? But it would sound a little more interesting, I think, at least. I played it like this. It's already a lot softer and it kind of invites you into the song. It's important to know that when you are writing songs, you have dynamics with how you play your instrument. That way each moment feels special rather than just a different part of the same song, if that makes any sense. Now, once you have your first chord progression figured out, when you write a chorus for a song, especially, you know, on something like guitar, you wanna have the chorus most of the time be very similar to the verse, but just have a few slight differences. That way people can kind of sing along um, to, to something that feels newer, but also at the same time is something that like feels right at home. Um, so if we take, you know, that chord progression we had. And then we go into the chorus and it's something like. I mean, right there, that's, it, it, it's familiar enough, but it has just a, that tiny bit of difference where it feels like it has more emphasis to it. And that chord right there, this is another chord I've been using a lot. It's, uh, I, I gotta be honest, I don't quite know what it's called, but what it, what it is, is it's, an, it's a pointer finger on the first fret. This is open E tuning, by the way, E standard tuning. And then you take your ring finger and put it on the third fret of the A string. And then you take your middle finger, and put it on the second fret of the D string. And then every other like string, those four are all open, and you just strum that. Oh, this 
it's just so much more dramatic and I love using that as like this build. And I think it's definitely a chord that people should use more and so that's why I'm telling you guys about it. So before I leave you guys, I'm gonna try to incorporate all those ideas into one song so you can kind of get the full picture. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.